is your right foot for Scythe, man. Yeah! Right, welcome back to a brand new goal line video where today it's Derby County versus Sheffield United at home. We'll get straight into it. Obviously, we know that Derby got placed under another transfer embargo yesterday, which means we did lose Phil Jagielka as we weren't able to extend his contract, which probably means Richard Stearman is going to come into the back line. But Stearman's a solid player and will do a job for us no matter what. It's disappointing that we're under the embargo, but once again, it's another punishment to Derby County. We'll have to chat more about that in a different video. But think about today now. Sheffield United currently sit 14th because Luton are beating Bournemouth, but let's say they're 13th ahead of today. It's going to be a difficult game. Obviously, Sheffield United have definitely performed better since the last time that we met them when we lost 1-0 at Bramall Lane, thanks to a late penalty from Billy Sharp. He always scores against us, so it's going to be a difficult one today. My score prediction, I'm going to say a 2-0 Derby County win. It's a bold prediction, but hopefully we can bounce back after the news yesterday. So come on, you Rams. Billy Sharp and he probably should have buried it and made it 1-0 Sheffield United there.
Right, so it is the end of the game. I've just got back. Wow, what a win. 2-0 to Derby County over Sheffield United. It was a difficult game. There was pretty much zero chance in the game except for R2 and then one for Sheffield United. It was a game where Sheffield United had the majority of possession, in my opinion, but just didn't create much with it. Their best chance definitely found the first half to Billy Sharp, where he probably should have buried it, that header at the back post, but he headed it straight at Ryan Allsop. And then the second half, Derby... We counter-attacked well and that run from Tom Lawrence was special, wasn't it? In and out of about two or three plays and then finishing it in the bottom corner. That gave us the momentum to get the second goal. Brilliant finish. Eberselli wins it back really well. Drives forward, lays it off to Forsyth. Forsyth wouldn't shoot on his right foot, as I commented during the game. And then lays it off Tom Lawrence and what a finish from Tom Lawrence. We know he can do that and he did that today. But what a performance from Derby County, obviously, after the news yesterday. It's a superb bounce back from that and we go on to the big one on Saturday against Nottingham Forest so we're in good stead now for that game but we need more points don't we to hopefully get out of this relegation battle and, and we'll have to see what we can do but there's obviously going to be more Derby County news over the coming days and, and weeks but there we go we can't do anything about that off the pitch what we can do though is focus on what's happening on the pitch and at the moment it's very good so if you have enjoyed today's video don't forget to like and subscribe my social medias are in the description and I'll see you in the next one